It all started with a decorative birdhouse outside my bedroom window. Gladys and George Chickadee decided to spend a frantic week building a soft nest inside. But a few weeks later, Gladys had grown so fat, she didn't think she could get through the door. She waited in vain for George to help her. I hoped she wouldn't get stuck. Time passed and one weekend I noticed little chicks peeking and pushing for a chance to view the big world. After hours of arguing, the first chick finally decided to try his wings. The second one jumped onto the porch soon after, but he was not sure of himself and wished he could go back inside. The bright sun may have startled him temporarily. While he was getting adjusted, his mother flew in and sat on him as she fed the others. And then father arrived. He realized he could not go back. So finally he turned and flew away. Off. The next morning, more arguing continued until the philosopher stepped out onto the world. He wanted to size up the situation before he committed himself to this big step, which he knew would mean that once he left his comfortable home, he could never return again. And it was then that I heard him quote from Tennyson's Ulysses. Come, my friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world. Though much is taken, much abides. That which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. He still doesn't want to be too hasty, but rather to savor this moment. He was prompted to further reflection when he looked down. His heart beat faster in his little chest. I think life teaches us that every living creature is an individual and some are more thoughtful than others. He was startled when Mom came crashing in on him.
His brothers kept up their nagging, but he took one last look at his home. And like the leader he was, he stepped up and flew off to meet his destiny. It was not long until the next chick flew out. And then another. And all was quiet in the garden.